Hey, I'm Caleb from Caleb's Aviation. Welcome back to another installment of Aviation News. Today's topic will be focusing on Atlas Air and the recent incident involving one of their 747A freighters over Miami, Florida. For those of you who are unfamiliar, the other day on January 18th, an Atlas Air 747-8 freighter was set to depart from Miami, Florida. 747-8 November 859 or Golf Tango was an 8.3-year-old 747-8 freighter owned of Atlas Air. She previously flew for Cathay Pacific Cargo until 2015. Set to depart is flight Giant 095 bound for Puerto Rico. She made her way to her takeoff runway and left Miami International Airport right on time. It was a clear evening with good flying conditions and expected to go smoothly. She climbed out of Miami Airport, but shortly after departure, once she reached an initial cruise altitude of about 3,200 feet, trouble struck. Oh my god, it's on fire! Oh my god! Sorry. It's on fire! Mom! Shortly after departure, engine 2 sputtered, failed, and flamed out. This caused panic as filmed by locals in the Miami area. However, the aircraft safely diverted back to Miami International Airport. Engine 2, or the inboard engine on the left-hand side, flamed out and was likely the cause of the diversion. Hats off to the pilots of Atlas Air Flight 95 for running any emergency procedures and landing back at the airport safe and sound. However, the official cause of this incident is unknown, and the accident is ongoing. I'll update you more if need be. However, as the investigation is ongoing, we can all be glad for one thing, that this was not the final 747 ever built. For those who are unaware, the final 747 ever built by Boeing was released a while ago now and sent to Atlas Air, another 747-8 freighter named Empower. By the way, don't miss my video about the final 747. Here's some footage from it here, and make sure to check it out. I'll leave a link to the full video in the upper right for those of you who are interested. But pretty soon, the very last ever 747 to be built taxied out from the Everett factory with this special Joe Sutter commemorative livery and headed for its new home in Cincinnati. She drew a crown in the sky to commemorate the 747 as the Queen of the Skies. But pretty soon, the final 747 began her approach into the Cincinnati Northern Kentucky International Airport. The 747 involved in the incident was November 859er Golf Tango. The final 747 is registered November 863 Golf Tango. But for those of you who know me and my channel for a while now, you'll know I'm quite a fan of the Boeing 747. It even inspired my iconic logo. Speaking of which, have you checked out my channel yet? I think you definitely should. I have some great videos on there going around the graveyard, like this photo here with a bunch of scrapped 747s, as well as several in museums, and a guided tour of the first ever 747-400. If that's your thing, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment, check out my other videos, and I hope you enjoyed this video and this series on aviation news as well. However, that's going to do it for me and this video. I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, as always, wishing all 747s blue skies and tailwinds.